All it would take is $1,000 and a press release from my story to be published across Yahoo and major news channels about how I created a theory on the pathology of autism and the comorbidities and took my nonverbal autistic daughter from silence to speech. As for researchers across prestigious colleges like Princeton, Stanford, Harvard, try to claim credit for the concept as if it's their own. And I've been publishing for years on ResearchGate, in books, across social media, and on my website. And not only that, I started letting the research integrity offices know at these colleges. Princeton's the first response I've gotten back. They sent me a letter via secured server, unofficial letterhead, the day after Christmas, saying they self-investigated and found that they did nothing wrong. Interestingly enough, this letter self-expired within seven days, whether I open it or not. Sent the day after Christmas, knowing full well that I am a single mom and a teacher, so I have my kids home with me all week. This is the busiest week for me. Which everyone knows. Life's been public for years. You see, I get questions all the time asking why my story's not on the news yet, and this is how things are done. You put out a press release, and that press release, the way that you write it is submitted across all the major news channels. That's why you see the same thing posted on different platforms. And it just never felt right to me.